Do you want to learn to breed the most powerful and beautiful dinosaurs in Ark Survival Ascended? Well, ladies and gentlemen, you've come to the right place because in today's video, we're going to be going over every single piece of information you need to be able to create the most powerful and beautiful dinosaurs in the game. We're going to be going over everything from creating your breeding pairs, the lineage, crossing over all of the stats and mutations onto a single dino, and really just being able to create a powerful dinosaur army. Now, this is just one of the many color mutations that we've gotten on our raptors. I really want to create a beautiful raptor army, and we're working on the stat mutations as well, but I really do hope this video helps all of you out. I do want to keep in mind that we do live stream every single day, so if you find this video fun or informative, feel free to check out the streams as well. But let's get started right into this. Now, obviously, we're going to need a breeding pair. We've already got a little baby sitting right here. This one is actually a lower level than what we want. We'll get into everything that we're looking for here in just a second. We got Mariah Carey and Reptar here. I haven't leveled these up, although Mariah Carey, I believe, got leveled up twice. She was a natural level 191 after being tamed. And then Reptar is a 184 after being tamed. It's important that when you start a breeding pair to kind of keep track of the base level of your dinosaurs before you start leveling them up. Obviously, if you're starting the game and you tame something, you're probably going to want to level it up, but just keep track of its base level because when the babies pop out, they can sometimes be below that base level. Like we got a 181 right here, which means... We actually got some of the worst stats from both of these parents. If you go in, you can see our stats. We got 1,280 health, 750 stamina, 585 oxygen, 500 or 5,040 food, 210 weight, and 294 melee damage. If we go over to Mariah Carey over here, you see that she has 1,440 health, 495 stamina, 243 weight, and 301 attack. So the goal when you're creating your breeding pairs is to carry over the best stats of each parent. So since Mariah Carey only has 495 stamina, but our Reptar has 750. We want to cross this over to the baby. We want to take Mariah Carey's melee damage because it's better and her health. So we're looking for a level that is higher than both of our current parents. You'll see here that we got this level 181 Raptor here, which means we actually carried over some of the worst stats from both parents to this. So this part is very, very important. You'll see we have low health. We got the stamina, but we got uh, lower oxygen, lower food. Uh, um, we got the melee damage on here as well, but what we're looking for is a higher level baby. Now, this process can take a while if you're particularly unlucky to be able to get both a male and a female that have the best stats from both parents. Now, we've got a level 208 Raptor here that we got from Mariah Carey and Reptar, and we got all of the best stats on them except for health. Which is a little bit of a bummer, but what's interesting about this is if we wanted to, this is a male, and we have all of the best stats from both parents, and what we could do is we could then breed this back to Mariah Carey since she's a female, and we could try and get that max level health on here as well. This will bump up its levels even more and give us a higher chance of getting all of the best stats on one particular dino, because we need it both for a male and a female. Now, for the purpose of being able to actually finish this video for you all in a timely manner, I've set up my tier one breeding pairs already. You'll notice that all of my females are labeled female one or F1, and my male is labeled M1. We only really need one male for every tier that we do. And we can get a bunch of females because we just want to be able to breed that one male to a bunch of females. Now, you'll notice that they all have the same stats. I ended up just going with all of the best stats except for the health. So I do have the lower health here. If I was breeding super dinos, I would make sure to get that increased health as well. And if we go to our male, our male is also going to have all of the same stats. That's why they're all level 204. And this means all of our babies are going to pop out with the exact same stats and level as well. Unless we get a mutation. So we can let these things breed as much as we want. We go to hatch some of these eggs. You'll notice that they pop out as level 204. If we claim that, it would have all of these same stats as our parents. Now, we did go ahead and claim this baby because I want to be able to get more females to continue breeding. The males, they can be disposed of. They don't really matter. You'll see that they still have all the same stats. It's level 204. If we go to our ancestors, I did mess around with breeding a bunch of different raptors into this lineage here. But you'll notice now we have the F1 and M1. So this is kind of where our base mutation stuff is going to be coming from. So we just had a couple more babies hatch here. And like I said, we're looking for females or now we're looking for level 206 dinos. So we got another 204 there and all of these females you can keep breeding back to that single male so that way you can increase the amount of babies that you're getting thus increasing your chance for mutations 
And there we go. We actually just got our first mutation for this video so far. We actually got a red belly mutation. We got it on twins as well. And you'll notice about this that it is level 206 now. And the way mutations work is every time you get a mutation, you'll notice that it'll pop up on either matrilineal or patrilineal side. So we got a patrilineal mutation. So we have one out of 20 random mutations. And that gives you two levels. Every single time you get a mutation, it's going to go up two levels. So instead of 204, it's at 206. Now, what's interesting about this is every time you get a mutation, you get a stat mutation and you get a color mutation. They can also show up passively on the dinosaur. So this one, we definitely have a showing color mutation, which is that red belly right here. And we did get twins of it. So that's really, really good because we might have gotten a male and a female. So this one's a male. And I think our female is over here or it might be another male. Let's grab that and see what we got. It is another male, which is a bit of a bummer. Now this is where the fun starts. We've got a level 206 raptor with this red color mutation on kind of like the accent. And then we've got a level 206 one here with the color mutation on the arms, kind of like more of the body. And we can put both of these color mutations onto one dinosaur. Now this works the exact same way if we had stat mutations as well. Say we had showing like two melee damage, like a melee damage mutation on here and maybe like a health on the other one or a melee damage on both of them, we could put both of those melee damage mutations onto one, increasing its damage even further. Now, unfortunately, we have no stat mutations showing on these. It's just color. But what we can do is we can enable mating. Now, let's see what we get out of our first egg. It is level 206, so we didn't carry over the other mutation here. It would be level 208 if we carried over the mutations from both parents. So this is not one that we want to save. Now we can actually start the fun. So we've got a couple of mutated raptors here. We've got this like cyan mutation. We've got this green one. And we've got one with a health boost stat mutation, which is actually really good. So we want to kind of get these all onto one dinosaur. So you can notice here that our two here are actually females, which means we have a male with the stat mutation and we want to put that onto at least one of the females so we've already started here unfortunately the cyan ones didn't actually transfer over to anything but it looks like we've got one level 208 juvenile here that i'm hoping has the stat and the color mutation if we can actually snag it they're kind of all stuck together of course the level 208 we got has both of the mutations from the parents, but they've ended up being passive on this particular creature. We didn't get the health or the color on it, but we did get a male with the green mutation, so we can at least transfer that over to the cyan female and see if we can get both of the colors onto one. So now that our new male with the green mutation on it is fully grown, we can breed it back to this female with the cyan. And this is essentially what you're going to be doing as you try and combine mutations as well as stat mutations and all of that to either make really powerful dinosaurs or really pretty or both. It's a bit of a lengthy process, but it really is worth it and a lot of the times you'll get something that is a male with the color on it that you want but you don't have a female version of it and you just kind of breed them back to either their parents or a sibling to be able to <laughs> i know it sounds terrible but incest is wincest in arc survival evolved or ascended and i'm really hoping that we got the combination no we just got cyan on our first baby but we're gonna get it it looks like there's a bit of a bug in Ark Survival Ascended when it comes to combining all of the mutations onto one baby. We have this level 204 juvenile, and if you remember from the beginning of the video, 204 was basically their grandparents base level for what we started mutating. So, in other words, if this has a mutation on it, it should be at least level 206. But for some reason, when it comes to combining the mutations, it seems you can still carry things over without getting the levels, which is not how it's supposed to be in, which is not how it ever was in Ark Survival Evolved. If you got the color, you got the levels along with it. And it still seems to be the case when at least you get the baby for the first time. But when combining the mutations, make sure that you actually pay attention to what's on the dinosaur, especially if you're not breeding for color and you're breeding for stats. Because you might actually be able to get the stats now without the level going up either, which is super weird. But I just wanted to kind of point that out just in case because we got the color mutation, but we didn't get the level and that shouldn't actually happen. All right, now we're talking. We got the cyan and green combined onto each other, which honestly looks freaking amazing. It's going to be a very, very brightly colored dino, but I think we'll maybe go with like, like blues and and magentas for the feathers when we finally go for the full mutation. I've got this nice little bottom mutation that's like a salmon color that'll look maybe kind of good as well. Or we need like a nice blue for the bottom. I'm not sure. 
Now, one more thing to keep in mind when doing this. Anytime you check out your ancestry here, you're going to be able to see more mutations than what might show up on the dinosaur. So right now we have a total of three, two patrilineal and one matrilineal. But obviously only two of those are showing up onto this particular dinosaur because the stat mutation is actually still passive in the lineage and that can pop out later in further generations as well. So don't let yourself get confused about the amount of mutations that are on the dinosaur versus how many mutations are actually showing up on the dinosaur. Now the way that we just stacked the colors onto this one dinosaur is the same thing you're going to do for stat mutations as well. So if you want to get a bunch of health mutations, you can breed separate dinosaurs that have different health mutations from different generations and be able to breed those together to stack those mutations onto one dinosaur. You can't just have twins that came from the same parents that each have a health mutation and breed those together. You won't get two stacked together. They have to be from separate eggs to be able to combine those stats together but the process is essentially the same so i really do hope this breeding video helped all of you out kind of figure out how to make pretty and powerful dinosaurs let me know what you think in the comments below and i'll see you all in the next one